Welcome to LFA's RTB10i screen introduction. When you first turn on your machine with a key, the loader screen will initiate. If you tap the screen, it will pause at this section, but this must be done within three seconds, otherwise it will load the main operating system. On the loader screen, there are three options, transfer, start, and control panel. These are for working on the back end of the machine settings. Start will initiate the main operating system, just like if you were to leave it for three seconds at the start. Transfer. This is what's used to upload new software to the tablet press. An example of this would be if a new language pack was requested on the machine. This would be how we'd upload it. Control panel. Most likely this section wouldn't be needed to be used, but there are options such as sound settings to adjust the volume, a password function to lock the screen, and most importantly, the ethernet section. In the ethernet section, you'll find the IP address for the machine. You'll need this IP address when uploading new software packages to your machine through the transfer section. The program that's used to upload new software packages is called WinCC. If the touchscreen needs calibrating, this can also be done by going to the main menu, OP, then touch at the top and recalibrate, and then follow the on-screen instructions. Now if we start the main operating system, it will load up the language selection screen. As standard, your RTP10i will come with English, German and Spanish. However, if you request a different language, this can also be added to the machine. On the main screen, we first have the turret speed control, which can be increased or decreased with the up and down arrows. Speed, current and pressure will display when the machine is in operation, with the pressure measured in kilonewtons. The pre-pressure thickness will show you your pre-compression thickness settings, which can be adjusted with a pre-compression knob on the side of the machine. Main thickness is your main compression roller's current settings, which can be adjusted with a main compression roller knob on the side of the machine. Filling thickness, this shows your machine's current fill depth, and again, can be adjusted with a fill depth knob on the side. There's also a function to turn your machine from manual to auto. On the main screen and feed section, there's the option to jog the machine's turret, force feeder and vacuum. These will only work while the machine is set to manual mode. Whilst in auto mode, you'll be unable to use the jog functions. Instead, when you press the run on the main screen, the machine will simultaneously run the turret, force feeder and vacuum. Now if we press on feed at the bottom, it will take us to the feed section. In this section, we can run our force feeder and vacuum jog, or we can jog them both at the same time. Again, functions will only work when the machine is set to manual mode on the main screen. The next screen is the production screen. It will display how long the machine has been running for, how many tablets has produced, and the current pressure. In the parameters section, it will show you your max pressure settings, your protect pressure settings, transmission ratio, and station quantity. However, we don't need to adjust the bottom four on this section but the max pressure and protect pressure are there to shut down the machine in the event of an overload. If you were to press the parameter button a second time, it will take you into the predefined parameters of the machine and these are not adjustable. In the alarm section, there's a range of alarms on the machine to protect the user and your machine. Door alarms, motor alarms, pressure overload and emergency stop. If you were to press the emergency stop button, it will activate on the screen. Also, if we were to open a door, the alarm system would activate. These are the main controls on the RTB10i smart screen. For more information, products and guides, please visit www.lfatabletpresses.com.